here's the screen here. I'm gonna open up this document. It says, you know, the Breakfast Club docs. The first thing I'm gonna show everybody is something called Google Earth Studios. So what this is, this lets you create your own drone videos, pretty much is what it is. So the way this works, if you click on it, you just click on the link and it opens up and then it will open up Google Studios. You just click Try Earth Studios over here in the top right. And then when that opens up, if you don't have an account, you just make a free account. And then you wanna go here where it says blank project. You don't need to worry about anything else. And then you wanna leave all this stuff the same. Now, if you wanna title it, like I can put Breakfast Club. You can title whatever you want. And then you just hit start. So don't worry about any of these things and don't worry about trying to find a place yet. Just leave the things the same and hit Breakfast Club. And then once you start, you have a view of the world. So the easiest way when you go through to find a place and see where you are, in the top left, it has a search. So then I'm gonna put, for example, I can do, you know, San Antonio. And then you put in the type and then you just hit return or enter after you put it in and it will drop you here. And I'm still really high, of course, over San Antonio. So it would be hard to really look at anything. So then if I'm using either, you can take your two fingers on your mouse pad and you can pull in or out if you want, like I'm doing right now, and you can go in or out, or you can use your mouse wheel. I'm just using my both, my wheel. And then I can kind of scroll down and see as I get closer, here's the AT&T Center, here's the downtown, here's the Riverwalk. I can now start to kind of see things that are part of so the way, the reason I'm showing this, <clears throat> if you're looking to do maybe like military relocating to San Antonio, they might say, what are some of the great things I can do in San Antonio that would be really fun to check out? Let me just check this too. Sweet. Someone else uses it too. And then you check it out. And then you hear like, you know, all this cool stuff. So you have the river walk, everything's good. So if I wanted to do a video, let's say we're going to start over here by the AT&T Center. Then we're going to fly over to the river walk. And then we're going to fly up the river walk a little bit and kind of check it out. So the first thing you do is you find like your starting point. Like say I want to start here. And I don't want to start, of course, over the building looking down because that looks silly. I'm going to scroll a little bit more. And what I'm doing is I'm holding the Alt button, A-L-T, on my computer. And then I'm clicking and holding on my mouse pad or my mouse. And then it see, it lets you change the direction of it. So now I'm able to go through. And I think it's really kind of cool where we can go through because now I have the Space Needle there, whatever they want to call it. I have my river walk still. Here's the downtown. And I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to get a little closer. I'm going to drag it over and like what I like. So I'm like, okay, this is a pretty good place to start. Not bad. And then you see underneath here, it has these two like square things. It looks like that next to the zero. You just go ahead and click on that. This is your starting point. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's my starting point. So then after I get my starting point, I'm going to click over here and I might want to fly from there, say right here to the Space Needle. And then when I click here, I'm going to move this. Say I'm going to move it like right here, for example, for this sex spot now, I'm going to click on those two squares again. So now I start at the Convention Center, go to the Space Needle, and then say I want to go over here and find, I don't know, let's say we find the Riverwalk. Of course, the one time I'm trying to find it, I went right by it. I go back. And then we go over here, and then here's our river walk, and we're downtown, all that kind of fun stuff. Or if you just want to go to downtown, whatever you want. If I go in a little bit, let me reset my maps. I can find my river walk. Here it is. Then if I go back to the river walk, and again, I can change it, I can rotate it, I can do whatever I want, rotate my map, move around. So I'm going to start here now. I'm going to get in a little bit closer again. And this will be the next spot that I want to get. So then I'm going to move this to this spot. Go back to my river walk. You know, make sure you're there. Oh, mine likes to jump around on me because I get excited and click everywhere. All right, we'll reset it. And if you get lost like I did, you just go right back here. You reset, not a problem. And then I come right back here. Again. River walk, I'm just going to do it right here through the downtown area. And then I can come back like this. We'll roll zoom back into the river walk. There it is. And then I have this part set. So I'm going to click this one. And then when you go to click on the last section, again, to get there, you're going to have to change it. I'm going to run up the river walk is what I want it to do. I'm going to find maybe a little bit higher. And then I'll find this last section. 
So then once you have all the quick sections, I know I'm doing fast on that, but once you go through and pick your points, you can go right here and you can click render. And this is what it's gonna look like on the video. So there it is. I'm flying around. I'm flying across downtown a little bit. I found the Riverwalk. I'm flying up the road. There we are on the Riverwalk flying up. And you can see it's very easy, very simple. And that's my video right there. So let's say you're doing a, a showing, you're doing, a, you have a new listing. Um, like for example, say you want to do, and I can just, and you hit submit at the bottom. If I like it, I hit submit. And then it says right here, it sent it there to render it and start over. And then that's it. And then if you want to redo it, you hit file new blank project. And then I'm not going to save that one. And then I'll just be back where I want to do. So the good thing is then you hit start again and you're right back where you started. So if I had a, say I had a listing and I wanted to be, I'll do Napa Oaks toward Bernie area, kind of where I live up there. And now I have my whole subdivision. So if somebody wanted to buy a home in this subdivision, I could fly over the subdivision. And that would be a way that I could show kind of what it's like. And it's good, you know, it's good to do a live video course and drive through the subdivision and show videos that way in your YouTube channel if you can. But if not, I could just fly over the subdivision, you know, do a video, show how it is, show what it's like. Here's a community pool. I can show things without having to pay for a drone or anything else. I can kind of show what the subdivision's like. And this, of course, I'm just touching what basically you can do. You can change your latitude, longitude. You can do a lot of different things. As you can see, you can add overlays in it. Um, you can do animation, you can cloud render. There's a lot of different things you can do. It's a lot of fun. But also you can do this for each part. You can do the Alamo if you're in San Antonio. And there's the Alamo right there. And then we can jump in and we can do the Alamo. So it'd be another, why would you move to San Antonio? Come check out the Alamo. And then you could fly in and you could show the Alamo. Now you can see when you get really close like I am, the picture is not quite as clear. So it's good to make sure you're not right on top of the house because these are just satellite images. They're saved satellite images. So if you get too close, it does look blurry. But have fun with that. And I like what I like to do with a lot of videos is I'll take, like I'm saying, hey, we're talking about, I don't know, like this home here and this subdivision. We'll go through, we'll have the subdivision, we'll do the quick video, and then we'll have a video of the home. And then that way, if you're doing, say, an open house and you want to advertise your open house, you can do an overfly over just a quick one saying, hey, come check out this open house. And if people who are looking at your social media see like a drone video flying, it'll make them pause. So just do a couple second video, not like a five minute, just a short video. And that will be your hook, your attention getter on your videos. Because when you watch a video, you need something for people to pause to get the attention. So that first thing, the easy attention getter is like, for example, if I fly right here and then I just go here, maybe move it a little bit. I mean, it's not very far, of course, but that's a very simple attention getter. And there it is flying over the Alamo. So, hey, you thinking of moving to San Antonio? One of the Alamo is one of the greatest things here. And it's a very simple, easy thing you can do to do a project to get people's attention because it looks different. It looks neat. People get like, oh, cool, what's that? They like to see drone videos and stuff. So it's an easy way to go through and kind of check these out and see what it's like. So that's fun. Have fun. Play with Google Earth Studios. You know, they have more fancy ones, different parts of the world. You can do the Eiffel Tower. I was playing over different parts of the world the other day. Some areas that have more um, like visitors, like the Louvre, if you go to France, I did the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre. Those things have really nice, clear videos because more people are there. It's more of a touristy. They do more satellite videos of that. So have fun with all that and just enjoy it. The next Andrew, thing I want to- have a quick question. Yes, uh, what sorry. would be prompts on desktop mouse to zoom in so to zoom in good question so to zoom in take two fingers on your mouse pad put them down if you don't have a mouse hold them together and pull them in and that will zoom in and then pull your fingers apart and that will zoom out and then if you use the alt key alt hold the the alt button the alt and then if you use the alt key back and forth you can do that as well um if you go to my youtube channel right here i have a youtube video it's a it's a it's just a six minute video just like i just did real quick and easy it's a little tutorial walking you through how to use this as well so feel free to go to my youtube channel um right here and it's realtor real estate training andrew moore and i'd love to have anyone you guys come check it out we have a, um, it's getting bigger so it's fun 
and any ideas you have for things there would be great to have. I'd love to share information there. So that gives you another way you can go through there and kind of check it out. So mouse fingers on your mouse pad or your wheel on your mouse. If you don't have a mouse, you really should get a mouse. It'll make your life a lot easier. Move your mouse wheel in and out and you can scroll in. If not, two fingers in and two fingers out. And then you'll be able to come in and out and you're good to go. Okay. And then here's my link to my YouTube video I told you about, about Google Earth Studios. So the link is right there as well for you. Um, any other questions on that before we jump into the next thing? All right. I don't see you coming through. All right. The next thing we want to look at, we're going to show you how to do some Instagram. Now, I say Instagram just to keep it simple, but this can be used for YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, anything you're going to use for your social media. I'm going to give you some prompts and we're going to walk through them and show you how to use these prompts and show you how to use them with ChatGPT. I know Rick is a big uh, proponent of ChatGPT and I totally agree with him, it's amazing. If you go here at the top, cancel that junk, and I'm gonna go back and open up the new chat. Yours probably won't have these boxes. I'll show you what this is a little bit later today. Let me shrink it down a little. I had it expanded for a class I did yesterday. <laughs> so if you're in your ChatGPT, you just wanna make sure you have your prompt. If you go back here, to the folder I shared with you. One of the documents in the folder says copy of Instagram prompts. So if you just go to the copy of Instagram prompts, I wrote it all out step by step and we're just gonna quickly follow step by step to make it simple. And the first prompt you're gonna write out, you're gonna say I'm a resident real estate agent. I wanna create short form video content on Instagram. This is, you wanna do one platform at a time, all right? Because each platform has a different way it's supposed to write in a different way you're going to do hooks in a different way like the amount of emojis all those type of things are different on each platform so when you do this and you say i want to do it on instagram you can come back again then you can do it on facebook then you can do it on TikTok. then you can do it on youtube so this can be used for the same one or you can pull this into like in video io and have them do the an a it's another ai that you can let people do it for you whichever way you want to do it so I'm just going to copy these, resident real estate, all that kind of fun stuff. And then I'm going to say I want, I want to educate why people should move to San Antonio. And make sure that you don't do it like I did put an extra period. That's kind of funny. And my Texas, my primary goal is to generate leads. And then your my target audience, I do a lot of first-time homebuyer military. So my target audience here, you can either do military members PCSing to San Antonio. So people don't find that she's a good doc. Okay, good. And then right here, I asked it to write a list of 10 video topics for me that will excite, educate, and promote my product. You can see I was watching, I was right, redoing the prompt as I was writing it, so it's good times. There we go, clean up a little bit as we do. And then you're going to do that. Now, if you were doing it, instead of only putting military members, because I'm just keeping it simple, you want to put military members PCSing to San Antonio, which means permanent change of station if you weren't military. And then you want to add first time home buyers, luxury agents, um, people who are selling and buying, people who want to sell if you want to be a listing agent, um, anything you're targeting, put every one of those client types you can think of for each one of these, okay? And then again, I'm making this simple for this morning to keep it basic <laughs> because of our time constraints. But then I could write all those out or I could just leave it one target audience at a time. I, it depends how you want to do it. I recommend picking one target audience at a time. So first I'm doing right here, I'm doing military. And then I'm going to go through. Next I'll do luxury home buyers. Next I'm going to do, um, I don't know, people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. First time home buyers. Next I'm going to do people who need to list, people who need to sell their home and good advantages of using a realtor. Whatever you tell it to do in the prompt, ChatGPT will change it and you'll be able to do that for each one. So I do it first for Instagram and then I would change Instagram to, I mean, Instagram, when you put on Instagram, it auto goes to Facebook for you if you have it set up correctly, of course. So then I would change it to TikTok, YouTube, whatever kind of other social media that I want to hit, I would change it out that way. So what we do is we take that first prompt. I'm going to copy that prompt and just go to ChatGPT and just drop it right there in the chat. And then I'm gonna hit go. And then it's gonna start up, and then it's gonna just go. And then right here, as you can see, it's great. It does the whole little prompts right there. And like it says, what we're asking for is short form video content. So it's gonna go through, it's giving me some short form video, like 10 of them. 
Now, another thing you can do, of course, if you, how many videos should you be posting per month? If you're new to social media and you don't have a following, you want to try to post minimum every other day if you're trying to build a following. And you need to do that for about four to six months, especially if you're trying to get into YouTube and crack the YouTube. If social media is not an overnight thing. You have to be consistent, just like with anything you do in real estate and life. If you're not staying consistent, it's not going to happen. So instead of 10, I might have put 15, and then I have a whole month's content to get military members, and I can just do the whole month at a time if you post every other day and it's a 30-day month. So think of something like that. And then once I get that, I'm going to click this one, help me create a 30-second video script. Then I'm going to go back to my chat GPT, paste that in there, and just hit return or enter. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. We have all the scripts pre-written. All you got to do is go through and just follow the steps. Now, while that's, while that's actually writing it out, I'm just going to come grab the next one, which sounds like really easy, but it's just simple to do. And now I'm going to say, give me an engaging hook for each of the video topics to capture my audience attention within the first five seconds. So that's really important. When people are looking at your social media, you only get three to five seconds usually when they see it. That's why that little Google Earth is really good and quick. It gets people's attention. If you can catch them in the first three to five seconds, then usually that means you catch them, they're going to pause, and then you're going to have to earn the next three to five seconds. So by having the good information and you're breaking it down, it's all going to be ready to go. And now I'm literally just going to go through here and paste the next topic we gave you that easy. And then I'm going to hit go. And it's going to go through and give me the engaging hook. And then I'm going to copy the next one, combine the hooks in the scripts. So there it is. Here's my engaging hook, all 10 of those. And then I'm going to do my hooks in my scripts as soon as it's done. So one of the big things you need to make sure is you let it write the 10 things. Don't cut it off. So if you do 15 or 20, it might get to the end and it might just pause. And there'll be a button here that says continue writing. Then you're going to click on that button that says continue writing. All right, and then once you go here, I'm going to drop in the hook, the script. Like it says, combine the hooks with the scripts. So now I have the hook that we did with the script written out for us. Now it's a lot easier to read. And then I would change this again. Short Instagram description for the videos. Let me grab that to do. To -do. And then once it's done written the hook, all we do is paste that one in there. And then we have it all right. And you see how easy it is now. Now I have my hook in the beginning, and then I have my whole script. And when you talk and read, you make sure, and I talk fast, of course. So I would probably, instead of 30 seconds, I would do 45 seconds because I want my video to be about 30 seconds. That's what short form content, you want it to be about 30, 40 seconds max. And if you talk really fast like me, you want it to be a little bit longer. If you're more chill and you talk normal, like not like me, I get excited and start speaking fast. If you talk slower at normal rate, then you probably want to just put it at the normal speed like 30 seconds and that'll make your script a little bit better so it's not so short or so long when we show you how to start going in there okay and that part's done i'm going to just throw in the next script right there san antonio park for military families and there it goes and then i'm going to grab my last one a list of the top hashtags okay once it's giving me these here i'm just going to drop those in there and that's as easy as it is right there as i'm showing you right now now I have 10 videos that are ready to go. I have a description. I have a hook. I have everything, including the hashtags. And then all you have to do, when this is done, I'll give you that. And then I'm going to go right here for hashtags. And now I have everything done. And there it is. General real estate hashtags, specific for each video. So this was nice. It gave me all general. And then it did each video specific as well. Then I can be specific hashtags and do it that way and kind of go from there and then it will do everything break it down now once you have your videos and you have your hashtags th this is not um, i don't i'm not an affiliate or anything on this system this is just a good teleprompter um, this one is not one of the free ones they are free ones out there um, so you just have to decide you know what do you want to do all that but this teleprompter here it's you can see when people use it as a teleprompter it goes through it shows up on their phone and this is kind of right here, it rolls on. So if you're doing your video and you have your, and you're looking at your phone, it looks like you're looking at the audience. Eye contact is really important. It makes a better connection with people if they think you're talking directly to them. 
If you're doing videos and you have your script on the side or in a different, or someone's holding a big picture of a phone or their tablet behind them and your head's always twisting back and forth, you look like your head's on a stilt, on a swivel, that is not as effective and you don't get as many views and as many good things that way that you would if you're doing anything else. You can drink. So it's important to have, I know there's free teleprompters out there. There's things like that you can do. I, the, one of the reasons I like this one and I enjoy sharing it with people, you can download this on your computer and you upload the app. So when I have all my scripts written out here, I would just go up here to my script where I combine them, etc. Like right here, 30 second video. I can just copy this, drop it into my computer and it will automatically connect with the app on my phone. So it's very simple to use. And then I can do my videos and have my teleprompter running through. And I don't know if Canva has a teleprompter. I haven't tried theirs yet. Good question, Diane. I'll have to try that one. Because if Canva has one, that'd be a really nice one. I know Canva's getting better and better. So let me just see. I'm not seeing anything yet. So I'm spelling it wrong, probably. There it is. I'm not seeing anything in Canva. Maybe they do. But other than that, this is just another good one. I know there's free ones you can get on the App Store. It just depends. A lot of them you have to um, email yourself or text you the information from your computer, and then you have to load it up that way. So it's a little more cumbersome. This one's, but again, this one isn't free. So if you want to invest in your business a little bit, I think it's like $25, $30 a month, something like that. It's not a terrible expense. But if you're doing a lot of videos, you can go through, and this one has AI. This one's a little bit like ChatGPT. I'm sorry, not ChatGPT, but uh, CapCut. When you load it in, you can have it write your words for you. You can adjust the speed. You can adjust the side of the words. All that is built into here. So it's almost like a mini CapCut for a teleprompter. That way you don't want it to only be having a teleprompter where you read it. You want the words to write across the screen when you speak because some people are, and they want to be able to read it as they listen. Some people are more visual. And as you can see, automatic subtitles, everything happens. You can change the colors. You can change everything. You can have your subtitles. You can change the speed. It does a lot of different things, which is kind of fun with it. It does have like a seven or 10 day free trial, which is fun to play with. So when you do it, if you get your videos and you have all your scripts ready, you can come in there and you can do your seven or 10 day free trial. You can knock it out and then you'll be good. So that's a fun one here to do with a teleprompter. So have fun. That's big view. B-I-G-V-U. I'll jump back to that. Next and that's all it is here. But you can do that for anything. You don't only have to do it for there. You can do it for any any of those other ones that you want to. Now, Lisa, do we go till 8 or 8.30? We go to 8, but it's fine if you go over because they can jump off. If okay, I wanted one they're... more quick. I'll go one more quick thing I'm going to show you guys. Um. So would people rather learn how to write their own book or would you like to learn how to get all your blogs done? I want to do the your book. Okay, we'll do the book AI. then. AI, yeah. So my YouTube channel, let me grab it again. Um, uh, where's my link? It's a uh, real estate training. There it is. All right, I'm going to show real quick how to write your own book. I know we're about out of time. I had the extra stuff if we had a chance to get there. So if you go to ChatGPT again, these, no, remember ChatGPT, if you think of it, it's like a super intelligent idiot is the best way to think about it. It'll do whatever you want, but only what you tell it. And it can do anything, but it doesn't like, it only does what you want to. So what these boxes are in my ChatGPT, this is a plugin. It's a Chrome plugin. It can be used in Edge as well. It doesn't work in Safari. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate you. Um, and then here, if you go to AIPRM, so if you have Chrome or Edge open, you just search AIPRM and it pops up right here, the first search. And then once you click it, you're gonna go right here, install AIPRM for ChatGPT. And then once you install it, it'll automatically say window, it'll say either Chrome or Edge. You put the extension in and then it says accept. Yes, I wanna use it and it will open up and then you're installed. Before you install it, make sure you have Chrome open in another, I mean, ChatGPT open in a window. So open ChatGPT, 
and then after you open ChatGPT, install the plugin. And then you'll see all these boxes. So what this is, is almost 5,000 prompts built into the ChatGPT, so you don't have to remember all the prompts like we just went through here. These are all built into your ChatGPT with these boxes. So it's a shortcut to use ChatGPT correctly. So what you do when you have your AI PRM, all you do is hit search, and I'm gonna put the word book, and then I'm looking for this prompt, and you can look at different type of books if you want. Um, it's say eight, eight chapters. I like this one where it says write a complete book in one click because it gives you a 15 chapter book. And this is all written for you through AI. Now I'm gonna share with you all, I forgot to throw it in there, but I'll throw it in your sheet. I didn't know if I had an open. Let me share with you real quick on my drive. This is uh, some of the training I do in some of the Google, all the classes I teach. Um, I have an example of all these book titles. I'll give you a copy of that. I'll throw it in that Google folder so you have that information as well. And then here is if you want to be a listing agent. I gave you about 100 book titles in here. If you want to be a listing agent, um, right here, how to pick. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know why this wrote it like three times, so we'll clean that up. And then you just go through and you clean it up. I'm going to show you how to do it. So if I wanted to write a book on how to pick the right real estate agent, you go in here to ChatGPT. I'll give you a copy of all those book titles, and you just put it in and hit return or enter. And then it's going to go through, and there it is. Now it's writing the ultimate guide to choosing your real estate agent. And then it's going to go through, and you can see here are the 15 chapters. And we don't have time, of course, to see how it all works. But it's going to go through and write your whole book for you. Okay? It's really fun. And the good thing is I've already tried to sue ChatGPT, saying this is against plagiarism, all that kind of jazz. It's not. They're lost. ChatGPT won, which means anything you write in ChatGPT like this, Right here, this is all your, your, they call it your intellectual property is the fancy term they use because you're writing it. So, you know, I know uh, Rick went over all the new changes with NAR and everything happening with you guys in other classes. When you do your buyer tenant, when you sit down to do your buyer interview, whatever you want to call it, your buyer tenant interview at the beginning, before you go show homes, you now can have a copy of this book to give to your client, the ultimate guide to choosing your real estate agent. And they're going to say, no, hey, why would I pay your commission? What value do you bring? What is your value proposition? I talk about that a lot. So then you can share this book and say, well, not only am I an awesome realtor and I do this and this, I'm also a published author. And then you're going to give them a copy of this book that the ChatGPT is writing for you. And then you see at the bottom when it goes through, it's asking all the questions you should ask real estate, a lot of fun stuff. At the bottom of each section, it's either going to say continue writing or it's going to stop. If it says continue writing, you're going to hit that big button. If not, you're just going to hit continue at the bottom. Now, when you write the book yourself, it's important. See right here, continue generating. It's important not to leave ChatGPT like I'm about to do to show you where to publish it. If you leave ChatGPT, it's going to mess it up. So it is annoying. It takes about 10 minutes or 15 minutes for the whole book to be written. But I mean, that it sounds funny, but see, I'm already in chapter eight, chapter seven. And this is making my chapter short. See? So then what I would do for this, because I want my book to be at least 20 pages or so, I want each chapter to be at least 2,000 words. When it's done writing the whole book, I'm going to come back and say, please expand chapter one to at least 2,000 words. And it's going to expand my book, and then I'm going to have it long enough. And then I'm just going to cut and paste the book and put my book into Microsoft Word. And you're going to throw it into Word, cut and paste, and drop it in, and then clean it up. Make sure you, it's going to, because it has a bunch of like hashtags and colons everywhere. So just go through, clean up your book. Um, the last time I did it, it took me about an hour and a half last week to write the whole book and publish it. And I'll show you how to do that. So once you have it written and you're happy and it's good, like I'm on 13, where you want to go is you want to go to Amazon KDP. Oops, if I spelled it right. And you go to Amazon KDP, which is Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. And then once you're there, see, here's my book right here. This is the one I wrote last week, Unlocking the Door to Your New Home, No Money Down Technique. So I did a buyer book. And then I put, and then you just have it go like that. And then I right here, what you want to do, you're just going to come here. When you make your free account at Amazon KDP, you're going to hit Create. After you hit Create, you're going to create a paperback. And I'll show you why. Once you create the paperback, you follow the steps. You want to order author copies. So it costs about two bucks a book. So once you go through and you'll have $2 or so per book, you can order like a hundred of them for 200 bucks, 300 bucks. They're very inexpensive. 
And then every time you talk to a buyer, always have a couple of copies of your books with you. And then once you have a copy of your book on the back cover, and so you don't always have to remember to have your cards and everything, give everyone you meet a copy of your book. It's much more harder to throw away than a business card. And then on the back cover, and I'm almost out of time, so I'm talking faster, but I would recommend going to Avery, or you can do this in Canva. I just like Avery because it has the templates pre-built. Let me shrink it down again. Oh, my Avery's going crazy. Let me try it again. There it is. Go to Avery.com. If their website's not going crazy for some reason, it has a template you can plug in then. I'm not sure why the Avery templates are going wild today, but usually if it's not crazy like that, you can go to Avery. Um, their website looks like it might've got hacked. And then when you go to Avery and you pull it up and it loads, you put it in there and then you just grab the template for that. I'll get the template number here and I'll throw that in there for you. I'll put the template number in the chat as well in the Google Drive. And then once you create the template, it actually, the template it makes is the size of a sticker, like your business card. It turns it into a sticker. So you create the template, throw it into the back of your book, and then you have a QR code on that sticker. And the QR code is gonna go here to your link tree. So when someone scans your QR code, this is what they're gonna get. They're gonna have get pre-approved, looking to sell, home search, Google, my Google, my YouTube, my Instagram. They can book an appointment when calendarly, and then I have my IABS and consumer protection. So this is my rough link tree here, and that's how I can go through that way. And I just do my number in there for you, Laura. And you can go in there, and then this link tree you build out, and I can help you do that if you need to. It's very, and it's free as well, it's no charge. And then turn this into a QR code, which I can show you guys how to do. If we have time, if you wanted me to do it now, I can show you now how to do it real quick. Just depends. And then yes. I would take this. Okay. If so they I need take... to jump off, they need to, they can jump off, but okay. this is so good. All right. I'm getting a little, I don't want to get too excited and start going too fast. <laughs> so if I go to QR monkey, this is a free QR code generator. And I'll show you why I like this. I'll go to QR monkey. Make sure you go to the one that says QR code dash monkey.com. There's a couple sites that try to catch you when you go here. And then you go here, make sure it's green. You change the top link to your link. You go to set colors. And then I like to do, maybe I'll do a blue today. And then I have my image. This is where you can upload your headshot or you can upload, I don't know, whatever you want to put in there. I'm going to throw in my headshot. You upload your headshot. Let's see, it looks like it didn't grab it. So let me grab it again. Oh, there it is. It took a second to load. So I uploaded my headshot. And then I can go down here to the bottom. After I do that, I can change the corner designs. So let's say I want my corner designs to look like this. And then I'm going to hit generate QR code. And then your QR code is very different than other people's QR code. So it makes it really different, really fancy. And then I'm going to take this QR code, see if I can get Avery to work again today. No, Avery's still acting crazy. I don't know what. I'll get the label number and put it in. He's never did that before. So then when you have your labels, you'll take this QR code, put it on the corner of your label, and you'll stick that into the back of your book. So then everyone you talk to, you give a copy of your book and it's much more, and then I would sign it too. And then it would be like a signed author copy, like you're all that. So I would like to pretend like that I am all that. So I'm like, yep, here you go. Here's my book, it's signed. And then I have my, then I go to my sticker on the back cause you gotta have fun with yourself. And in the back it's gonna, and I say, here's my QR code that has all my information. So then they can go to my lender. They can get a free listing, a free approval for their home. I um, mean, I know if you guys have KV Core, a lot of you have Lofty, all those are there. You can do that really easy. And then at that point, you can grab those links from your website. And I know on Lofty, it already gives you a buyer, um, a book of how to buy your home, how to sell your home. And you can also take the books that ChatGPT is writing and we can put them into your Google Drive and you can turn them into a link like I just shared with you. And then you can have that link in your QR code. So people click it if they want a digital copy of your book. You can have that as part of your link tree, or you can have that as a QR code in the back that says click here to get a digital copy of my book. And what would happen is they would click that link. It would open up a landing page, which we can help you build. And with the landing page, they would be, you have your book. So I don't want to get too complicated, but you have your book. You have a digital copy. You tie it into a landing page. You're like, oh, this is great. And you say, no problem. I have a link to a digital copy in the back. 
the people want a digital copy because they, they don't like to carry things. They're going to scan the QR code. It's going to open up a digital copy, but for them to get it, they have to sign in. And then when they sign in, they now are a lead in your, in your, um, your Lofty or your KV Core or whatever system you're using. And the QR code and the landing pages are very easy to build in either system. You can walk you through that another time. Maybe we'll walk show how to do that and we're running out of time. And then you can kind of do that and make that work because they're really fun to do. So that way, if you do an open house, if you're knocking, if people are like, hey, I want more information, I'm thinking about selling my home. You, if you have your, your system ready and your handouts ready, you can say, well, I have a book on how to sell a home without a realtor. And they're going to be like, what? And say, yeah. So I had ChatGPT write me a book. I said, write a book about how to sell a home without a realtor. I told it to make as complicated as possible and use college level English only. So it writes a super high, ridiculous, complicated book. And then you're going to do that. And I do have a, I am recording it so I can send the recording to Lisa too. And then it's really fun and we can do that. And then if you have a copy of your book, because you know, if anyone online, and then what are you going to do? You're going to build a landing page that says, get my free book, how to sell your home without a realtor. Everyone who's looking at selling their home who thinks they don't need a realtor is now going to click on your link. And then once they click on the link, everybody is going to be licked, is going to be caught as a landing page. And you're going to have a hundred people leads who want to sell their home and you're going to load up on listing leads. Or you can turn that into a door hanger and say, if you thought about selling your home, you don't need a realtor anymore, according to the new NAR training. So we have that disinformation out there. So you can play on the disinformation. And it's really, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I know I'm going way over. I apologize, guys. Being prior military, I'm always like, I have to start on time. I have to finish on time. So it's really driving me crazy. You're Sorry. fine. I, I, I'm reading the chat. Everyone is is loving, loving, loving it. Well, I'm glad so. you guys are getting something out of it. So Lisa, <laughs> I'll send you a copy. I'll make, I'm will make. i recording it myself too. I'll send you a okay. copy. And I know that the the um, Zoom is recording also. So between yeah, the two recordings. This is, I, 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 I'm telling you, Andrew, we got to have you back. You always have like stuff that you pull out of your hat that it gets everyone excited so um guys do you have any questions yeah. isn't this book fabulous the book is so fun i love it it's so fun it, it, it yeah i mean how many books have you written andrew well on my amazon kdp i'll open it i have um i have this one people always talk about making money on a because you always want to have something on the side hustle for fun I just have a good time. So I wrote a, a, a um, like a, one senior scribbles, Chronicles of Forgetfulness, just kind of a silly title for people who need to kind of see. Um, and then again, this is just something I do. I One of my side, you have to have your own, as a realtor, I always say you should have your own hobbies you do on the side. If you only do real estate, it's hard to connect. If you have hobbies and you connect to other people that way, you can have a good time. So I write tabletop role-playing games. I know I'm a super nerd. That's just what I am. I was a scientist for years. And I published my tabletop role-playing game, the one that I, I placed for years with people all over the United States. So I published that. Um, I wrote some different things. My wife's from Turkey, so I made her a cookbook of the favorite Turkish restaurants. And then I just went through, here's another real estate book about marketing. And then I did some coloring books just for fun for kids because I have kids. They're older now, but I wrote those. And then I did just whatever you want to write. And none of these took me more than like 20 minutes. It was not anything that took a long time, literally maybe an hour or two to write the book. And then, and there was very, and I've already made, I think in December, I made 50 bucks on my book. People were buying them for Christmas presents. Um, and then it's, I have really fun time. I have a good time. I have a lot of fun. So then it's a side hustle. You don't make a lot, but it's just fun to be out there. And then people can say, what? Oh, I'm a published author. And then you have a really fun time that way with the published author. So let me share real quick. People asked about the training schedule. Um, I do all, I know you all have your own title companies. I don't, I work for this title company part-time. So I work there, but I don't. So I don't want you to think you have to. If you just click on the link I put in there, ENV title. And then right here is the education schedule. I do most of my classes live in San Antonio here. Um, I do travel. I go to Houston. I've been to Colorado. If you're in a different state and you're on the breakfast club and you want me to come visit, um, I'm willing to do that. We just have to set up a time and then sponsors pay me to come. I've traveled all over the United States. I help people in every state, including Canada. It's a lot of fun. And this is what I do for my live training. They have a really nice classroom. So I make sure to have the classroom. 
So some people, if you guys want me to come back, I would love to come back. I, I, Lisa, I've known her forever. We're really, I know she's awesome. I really I appreciate and, and Rick love too. it. We want you back. Yeah, I and might Rick, just... I appreciate him having me. Rick's awesome too. He's one of my favorite people too. Um, so yeah. So if you guys do it, think of some topics you would like me to cover. Um, and then, or we can just get into basic marketing and get a little bit more, whatever you want. And we can cover anything like that. Or if we even have specific topics they want to go over. Um, and that way we don't have just a, so much stuff going everywhere. We cover 10 things at once. We can right. do different stuff. But yeah, well, so this year, I, you know, the whole thing, I just wanted them to see how freaking awesome you are oh, thanks, with guys. different I, I love it that you're so creative well it's just having fun you got to have fun with your stuff if not and i do i meet with uh teachers so cristobal yeah i do meet with teachers some we buy um we buy teachers what do you call it um tacos i'm having a hard time early of course my brain's not working so <laughs> i haven't uh, I usually am up and running. I'm usually on my walk right now, getting back at 7.45 after my couple mile walk. Um, so I'm laughing at myself. I can get up earlier to do it. I got to do it now after the meeting, <laughs> before the heat. So yeah, we meet teachers. We bring them tacos. We do stuff like that. So anyone who wants to meet, please reach out to me. Yeah, I'd love to go. What is your next better. lofty class? The next lofty class is, good question. Where's today? It's on Tuesday, the 23rd and 24th. Okay. So next Tuesday and Wednesday, it's a two-day class, and it goes from nine to one at ENV Title. Guys, if if you're with KV Core or Lofty, and if you're I'm with, you. I know a lot of you guys are with Real. If you're with Real, we're having a private Lofty class just for Real agents, right here on the thirtieth and thirty-first. Now for my next KV Core class is going to be August twentieth and twenty-first. And those are all now the ENV title. If you click on education schedule, it opens up and it shows all the education. We do have another really good trainer that goes to let me show you the events that goes to ENV title. Um, Stephanie Stone, she's a really has a good team. She does a lot of work. So like to, this Friday, I'm doing a class on mega open houses, how to do open houses correctly. Um, as we only have an hour and it's only an hour, hour and a half. So we can't do everything you need in open house. We'll cover a lot of it. Um, and then the lofty class, and then this is a Stephanie stone class. And then I'm doing, um, RPR and courthouse retrieval class, which if you're in San Antonio, I highly recommend going to that one. And then oh, here are the wow. lofty class. And then on the 30th, we're doing a overview of the NAR contracts. And we're not, I know everyone has heard all the videos of it. We're not going to do nar contracts like what they already do i'm going to actually have the contracts and we're going to show you just like where to put the five person five percent four percent three percent just kind of go like that so we're going to have to just have fun with that and then we're going to try to show you how to do it we're going to have the title company there they're going to ask questions we're going to have a lot of big people there hopefully to help us walk through it so it's not just going to be me teaching the nar class we may have dayton schrader there from the schrader group to help out as well He's a big team in San Antonio. We're going to have to try to some people there to help us. Because I don't I already know that I don't know everything. I'm always learning. So that way we can try to learn together. And I do so have trainings for Andrew, YouTube for Lofty are, and KV Core. Andrew, is this what it looks like on ENV's uh, yep, education? So, well, if you link? click here to education schedule, it'll open up. And then it looks like this. I'm in the back end. They help me be admin. And then you just click on the end. Like, for example, oh, it, this one has ended um, the mega open house Friday. It says sale ended, but if you want to just come to ENV title, um, you can just come. We have space. They close the sales about a day before, and then we have Lofty here. So right now we only have, for the Lofty class, we have four people signed up. And then for the real Lofty, we have 20 out of 25 people signed up. So awesome. if you wanted, yeah, so that's a special class we're only doing for real agents because we had a couple agents who wanted a class just for their teams in real um, and then if you want to just do lofty the other regular open lofty is going to be on the 20 on the 30th or whatever it is there so it is. andrew Sorry, i have a quick 23rd. question I apologize. Um, yep um so the one for real agents because i yes. i am a, a teacher with comel so okay. is that any different from next tuesday and wednesday that we had it's, talked about it's it's, not, it's, in, it's the same class okay very good. All right. Thank you. Yep. Um, and Gabriel, there is recordings for everything. I'm a, I have a recording on um, Loom. I'll, I'll send it to Lisa 
and then Lisa can send it out to everybody. Thanks for registering, guys. We hope you can get some value. And please, I really like feedback. I don't think I know everything. <laughs> so if I always ask for feedback in the military, we call it our active act after action report. So whatever we do, please give us feedback. Um, if you liked it, if you didn't, some things you think we can do better, you can reach out to me directly if you want. If you just search Realtor Andrew Morin, I'm all over social media. I'll be like your first two pages of Google. And guys, I know that you've put your um, email in here for me to send you the